Y'all see that big ass moon right there? Look how full this moon is. This thing lighting up the whole block right here. Out here with mamas, we out here walking and shit, you know what I mean? Getting our couple miles in the night. These houses, though, they be tripping me out like this. They got the whole cemetery up in there, though. Look at that. They got the whole... Look how much money, how much electric bill this costs just to have that shit, though. That shit look crazy. Look at this shit. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to another episode. And on this episode right here, I'm going to take y'all way back in the gap with me back to when I was 16 or 17 years old. And I'm going to tell y'all a story about how I used the Ouija board and what happened with that Ouija board and what came from that Ouija board. Because, you know, it's Halloween time, right? You know what I mean? I'm trying to build this content, trying to, you know, give y'all give y'all some different stuff every now and then. You know, I feel like I'll be behind the scenes on the, uh, you know, the reaction videos. Y'all don't really even know so much about me. But, you know, on these type of videos, I'm trying to get y'all a little bit more personable with who I am, where I've been, and, you know, life experiences and all that good so, shit. But... 16 or 17 years old, you know, I used to love all that Halloween shit. I don't really love it. I don't even really, I don't celebrate it really at all nowadays. You know, I, I don't know. I see it for something different than what I thought it was when I was younger. But when I was younger, I used to love all the Halloween shit. You know, I come from the era of the Michael Myers, Jason, Freddy. You know, I've been all of them at one point in time for Halloween when I was younger, my damn self. But, you know, I used to love all that the scary shit, paranormal shit. But, when I was 16 or 17, I had got a I had got a Ouija board and, and I actually had got it from my mom because my mom used to go to thrift stores like the the art thrift stores, you know, like secondhand used stuff and she would she would look for stuff in there. She would like, you know, like antiques or like items she could flip or anything like that. So she was always coming across, you know what I mean? Like different little knickknacks and things like that. And you know, at one point in time, I had told her I would, I wanted, it was a long time before this that I wanted to be able to, you know, uh, I wanted a Ouija board, you know what I mean? If she, if she ever came across one, grab one for me. And, you know, she never used one herself, right? But she actually came up on one that she found at the thrift store. You know, you buy, you buy shit at the thrift store, it's cheap, like $2, $3, $4, somewhere in there. It was, it was a used Ouija board and she had gave it to me. And I was like, wow, I was looking at it, you know what I mean? I was kind of hesitant, you know what I mean? But at that age, I used to think it was just like a game, right? I was like, this is like, like you know what I mean? I see this shit being sold in Target next to the Monopoly boards, next to, you know, uh, life, you know, all the puzzles and shit. So I'm like, it's a Ouija board, it's a game. Like they, they sell the shit at it. They they used to used to have it in the, I'm, this is showing my age, they used to have it in the uh, Toys R Us uh, like Sunday ads in the paper when I was a kid because you know being a kid used to wait for them Sunday papers and they, they have all the you know that's how I used to you know like in the you'd be able to like you didn't have like the internet and all that shit so you got like the Sunday paper and it had all the different uh, you know like different video games and toys and they used to have Ouija boards advertising that shit so got the Ouija board my mom gave it to me it's a it's a white and like bluish box and it said like a Ouija on it. It looked like an older one. Like it wasn't, it probably would have, if I would have had to think it probably came from like the seventies or the eighties or something like that. You know, the box had been, you know what I mean? You know, you could tell it been used. All right. But it had, you know, the inside of it, the, the board, the, the little, I forget, it starts with a P. I forget they call it a plank or something. I, yeah, it's like a plank and it was, that was in there and, and there was no instructions or nothing else in that box. And, uh, back then, my my day one everyday go to was my my dude Gabe right my, that was like my brother right like I was like literally my brother from another mother you feel me and uh that was my dude we was doing everything all the time together that was I was my everyday wake up hit him what you doing what you getting into so forth so forth so you know I don't remember if he came over to the crib or if I called him or what happened but ultimately next time we was kicking it you know I, I showed him we got the Ouija board and I was like. You know what I mean? Look, what you want to do? You want to mess with this? And at first, he, he was hesitant to it. He didn't want to mess with it, right? He didn't want to. He didn't want to do nothing, nothing with it. He didn't want to nothing. So I remember we just put it to the side and we went and did what we what we did. And we were, you know, back then we used to be on like we'd be on the late night missions. You feel me? We'd be back then we'd be breaking into cars. We'd be, you know what I mean? Beats, rims, the whole nine. That's that was the the little hustle back then. And now. Uh, I forget, I forget how many days went by, but ultimately 
I was I had a, a female that I was messing with that was on like the she was on the, she was on like the west side of town and her homegirl was messing with him with Gabe at this time right here and uh we would the one that I was talking to didn't didn't have a crib but her her friend that Gabe did did have did have a, a what do you call it a, a a crib so um them two females came over to my crib one night and we was we was in my crib and I remember we pulled out the Ouija board and uh they 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 had some knowledge to it already right they had I remember them the one that I was messing with at the time I think her name was Jerica if I remember correctly she had a she already knew a little bit about like the Ouija board and shit like that and she was telling us you know you have to light a candle you know what I mean and turn off the lights when you do it and you got to say a prayer before you actually get on the board and actually you know what I mean you actually open it up so we we did all that they was down to do it we, we was we was in the middle of uh we was in the basement matter of fact and the the table there was a table in the in like the kitchen area that we did it in we hit the lights you know it had a candle lit you know what I mean candle lit there was no airflow wasn't no no ceiling fans no nothing down there and I remember we hit the lights and we we did that shit and it was we was all holding on to the to the board right we was, we was holding on to the board and you know there was really nothing there where you know we was kind of like laughing and joking and shit I don't think I don't think that all of us took it serious right like I know for sure like I, I thought it I, w I was more interested in what was really gonna happen you know what I mean like like I'm that kind of kid when I was younger like I do that that shit in the mirror what's that uh what was that bloody mary that bloody mary shit in the mirror you know what I mean with like little friends and shit like that and you know we we be scaring ourselves thinking you know candy man and shit like that you know like that's the type of shit so I was more uh, t I, in my mind I'm just thinking this is a this is a game I ain't thinking too much of it right so we sat there and we, we laughing for a little second and finally the little thing moves all right like it it gets like a little uh uh like I, anybody that's ever used one of these things knows exactly what i'm talking about if you ain't never used one before you probably ain't but the closest thing i could feel is like a like a magnet underneath the board right so at first it just was a little uh a little uh a little uh and it's weird though because after a minute it started moving it started, you know what I mean? Started going to the left, started going to the right. And it's weird as shit because everybody's got their hands on this shit, though, right? Everybody's got their hands on this shit. And I remember it kind of like with zoom to the left, zoom to the right. And then, you know, at the top of the board, there's a yes and there's a no and all that stuff right there. So I can't remember exactly once it started moving. We were all, we were all, we were all like, we think we were all thinking like, you know, some we somebody else was doing it or something. But, you know, it, it was felt real as shit though there's no there's no denying that part and i forget what we were asking it we were asking it like some some weird ass questions some bullshit it would take us to yes and no and so forth so forth so i remember we played around with it for like five ten minutes it was creepy as shit i cannot remember the questions though we asked it though but i remember it being like it'd be it was like it was it was some bullshit though it wasn't wasn't nothing like super wild or none of that shit so I remember we had left that shit alone, turned the lights back on, and you know we said a little prayer afterwards and shit. Uh, I forget they ended up going home or I don't remember what happened with the rest of the night, but we ended up taking that Ouija board over to my bro's crib. After that, though, it was over at his crib, and now he was doing that shit. He had the shit. I actually left it at his crib, if I remember correctly, and uh, I remember we came over there one night and we were we were fucking with it, we were playing with it, and. Uh, it was telling us that one of it was saying that one of us was going to get killed and all kinds of shit though like remember we were asking it dumb questions like what will, will, will we die tomorrow or some you know just dumb ass shit right and it'd be going to yes and shit like that and uh i don't remember bro you bro had that there for a minute and i you know to me like it was really working though like but you know I, during this time i was doing a lot of dirt out there in the streets and uh you know one 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 time afterwards of that uh messing with that shit like it had gone like a couple weeks and so forth right a couple weeks had went by and uh i was in in the bathroom shower and i was in the shower and the shower was you know you know i'm in the shower you got you know i, I was just me at the crib I, I thought i had left the tv on because i'm in the shower and i'm like 
ear hustling, like, you know what I mean? Like I hear the TV, hear a bunch of people talking in there and shit like that, applauding. You know, it's not like a TV show. And this is back around the, in the times when like Ricky Lake was on TV. So I thought it was like the Ricky Lake, <coughs> excuse me. I thought it was like the Ricky Lake show being on, but no, nah, it wasn't no Ricky Lake. You know, I get out the shower, ain't nobody home, ain't nobody there, but there was a bunch of fucking voices on all, there wasn't no drugs and that shit, it was a bunch of fucking voices talking and all kinds of shit, and that shit had never happened until I did that Ouija board now, right, so my home, my other homeboy and him were fucking with that Ouija board too, because like I said, I left it over at his crib, I didn't have it at my house, and uh, man, it, it started, it started, it started lying to them, because the spirits or whatever energy that it pulled that that board has are lying are liars or they're straight like like they say the devil is a lie the spirits and the energy from them boards they're liars they're complete liars they're they're mischievous and, and i'm getting i'm getting chills i don't know if y'all can even see that on me as i say this shit right here but uh yeah hey the motherfucking things though i swear to god are, are definitely liars though and it would lie to us and it started making division like like you know, we already we already got testosterone flowing like no other around this time. Being being young, you know, like young street punks though. That's what we was. We was like some young street punks. We just we reckless. We know we ready. We ready for whatever. We we gonna do. We down for whatever. And it started like we started having like a lot of division amongst one another. Like quick little arguments. You know, we was drinking. You know, we ended up getting bodies or something. You know, motherfucking we, shit that normally we just wouldn't always be so so on the on the on the go to do right. So I remember I didn't want to keep that shit. I was cool on that shit right there. I was like, uh, I was like, I'm good. And I never knew that you could not just, you cannot just throw a Ouija board away, right? You can't, you can't just throw a Ouija board away. It, 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 it's bad luck. So they say you're supposed to burn a Ouija board and I didn't want to do that shit neither. I didn't want to burn the Ouija board. Oh, and one thing I'm forgetting out of this too is, man, when the box, I remember looking at this box, right? In the box, I swear to God, this box did not have any, any, like, like there was no name brand to this shit. It didn't have a, like a, you know, like an address where you could write to. And it was like where it was made at. None of that shit. It didn't have a, it didn't have a date on it. Didn't, the box was just a box with a little bit of the, 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 the logos and shit like that on there. But no, 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 like made by, uh, whatever, like toy company. None of that shit. It didn't have none of this shit on there. It was just a box. And that's just weird to me that, you know, there was like, where the fuck did this Ouija board come from? Like, what the fuck? Whose was this before? Because you never know what kind of residual energy is already on that from where it came from, especially coming out of like a, a thrift store or anything like that. So nonetheless, though, I remember my, my, my homeboy, Sam, matter of fact, oh, I forgot this part. We was playing it down in Sam's basement. This one, I almost forgot this one. We was messing with it down in Sam's basement. And now my homeboy, Sam, his family is like, literally like really from Mexico. They're like, they them real Mexicans. And uh, you know, they I remember they had a, a, a basement that was like still, was really like rock solid. Like the walls were like rock, like, or, you know, like still like, you know what I mean? And uh, it wasn't like, it wasn't like these type of walls, but long story short, we was down there in his room messing with it. It was just me and him, matter of fact. And uh, there was a picture of, matter of fact, no, was, I think there were, I think, I think his girl was there with him too. I can't remember who else was all there, but long story short, they had a picture of uh, Jesus on the wall when we were messing with that shit. And I feel like the, the picture of Jesus fell off the wall while we were fucking with it, matter of fact. And if that ain't crazy, I mean, like, how the fuck do that just fall off the wall? Like, how a picture of Jesus, like, how the fuck just it just falls off the wall? Literally, nobody, no, there ain't no base, no nothing. My hair's on the on my back of my neck or standing up as I tell y'all this story, even reliving this shit, because I didn't have this in the vaults, but it came to me as I did to do this as a video. But long story short, yeah, you know, he ended up keeping that shit. I don't know what he ever did with that shit, but another another thing that started happening to me after I used this Ouija board is I started getting these things called night terrors. And y'all let me know down in the comments if anybody else has ever had these, but they it's called sleep paralysis. And I learned about that as I got older. But when I first had this shit happen to me, it's one of the most scariest things in my life. I never, I'll never forget how that shit feels because you wake up in this like, your dream state you wake up and like in between the you're, you're awake you're awake but you're still asleep your body sleep but your mind is awake right but you can think you can articulate your thoughts you can you know what i mean you hear yourself the whole nine but you can't move 
And I, I used to wake up in these dreams, no fucking lie to y'all. I wake up in these dreams and I'd be frozen and I'd be like, I couldn't move. I, I'd feel pressure on me. I never seen nothing there, but I could feel like a, a presence though, like an ominous presence though, you feel me? And it it definitely wasn't wasn't a good presence. And I, like I said, that's, that's the reason why I brought up being young and being in the streets, because I was doing a lot of dirt at this time right here. So, you know, maybe I was a magnet for that black energy. I don't. I don't know, but long story short, you start getting those dreams, and, and I, I had one of them dreams one time before I even knew God, before I even got went to the, because I, I, I found God when I was locked up. I got saved when I was in the penitentiary, and I didn't have a, I didn't have a relationship with God when I was on the streets, other than I would pray while I'd be hitting licks and doing shit like, can I break? God, please get me home tonight. God, please let me make it through this night. God, please let me do this. So forth, so forth. I, I say them prayers, but I didn't know. I didn't know who Jesus was and how, why he died and, and why he was resurrected. I didn't know none of that stuff back then, but I'd wake up in one of these, in these dreams, at least one that I can remember very, very, very clearly. And I was waking up and my soul was reciting the Lord's prayer though. Didn't even know it though, but my soul was reciting the Lord's prayer in my in that in that in that sleep paralysis, whatever that is. Y'all let me know in the comments if y'all ever had this shit before though, because uh, it's it's a common thing, right? Sleep paralysis. They call them night terrors and shit like that. But um, I definitely attribute that to that Ouija board though. That Ouija board had opened up like a like a weird little portal or something. It, it, it attracted it, it attracted like energies and spirits that definitely I should have never I should have never opened the door to and that's a big piece of me believing that there's something more in this world and there's a spiritual realm but a lot of people don't realize there is a spiritual realm but that was a, one of the biggest paranormal type of things I've ever witnessed or, or had in my life next to them night terrors and they all coincide with one another because I would have never had that shit open up or never even had that shit had I never messed with that Ouija board I have no doubts about that shit right there but I would never I would never mess with another Ouija board at this point in my life nor would I celebrate Halloween or you know none of this you know what I mean? Like, I get it. Some people think it's a fun time of year. When I was younger, I thought that same shit. You know, I thought it was, you know, it's a fun time. It's make believe. Like, people like you got to get scared and so forth. But you got to be very, very, very cautious of the energies that you attract or that you welcome into your place of being, you know, and that's your house, right? I don't want none of that shit. I don't even watch that paranormal shit on my on my TV no more. I don't do none of that shit. But I mean, it's all good. I mean, to each their own, right? Some people love it. Some people probably think I'm crazy as fuck for even believing what I believe, but that's, that's the beautiful thing about life. You can believe what you want to believe and I can believe what I want to believe. But uh, y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comments. Let me know if y'all ever mess with a Ouija board. Would y'all ever mess with a Ouija board? And if any of this strikes home with you, let me know in them comments. And I appreciate y'all tapping in with me in this long ass video. Do me a favor, hit that like. If you made it this far in there, you heard all this spill, hit me with a young like. I greatly do appreciate you. And I'm gonna catch y'all on the next one.